Okay, so here in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a cover image for your Google My Business profile um, and basically outline a marketing message inside the actual hero image so that you get more clicks to your website. So the first thing you want to do is jump into your Google My Business Profile Manager and then go down the line on the left hand side here until you get to the photos. Now what you'll find is a lot of people, a lot of clients and even yourself, you may not have a cover image um, actually outlined and Google's basically just chosen one for you. So what you need to do is you need to upload a couple of things. Uh, we'll talk about uploading logos and videos in another video. Today let's just cover um, the actual cover image. So what you want to do is first of all you want to choose a photo. Now, if you want to utilize this strategy where we um, overlay your hero image with a marketing offer, then what you need to do is this. So the first thing you need to do um, is basically just go to Google um, and just type in your own business. Okay, so you type in your own business name into Google um, and then what you'll find is go to Google Images and then Google will have a whole bunch of images for your business anyway. Now, what you do not want is something like this. This is a great hero image, but the square shape doesn't suit what we're trying to do with Google, okay? Um, because what will happen is once you upload this and then you upload the marketing message, it won't look right. So you can't use a square shaped image. You need to utilize an image that is more of a landscape image, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to choose this photo, um, as my hero image, okay? So now I'm gonna download um, this image and I'm gonna save that. And basically that'll just save into um, my file. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Canva, okay? And once we go to Canva, what you wanna do is you wanna create a design and then you wanna edit. So we're gonna um, create a design, then we're gonna go down to the bottom and see edit photo. We're gonna click on edit photo just there and that'll allow us to edit the photo that we've just downloaded, okay? Now, obviously, um, it'll come up here and then you just basically choose the one that you've just downloaded and then it will upload that photo for us to then edit. So now it's uploaded, just press edit and I'll show you exactly what to do to make it come out looking um, perfect on Google, okay? So once it uploads the image like this onto Canva, what you then want to do is you want to, so now that it's uploading, basically what you want to do is go to text. So just click on text here and then go to add a heading. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can basically um, choose one of these um, headers down here, but we normally just add a heading, okay? And then what we do is we, type in our marketing message. Now for an accommodation business, what we do is we type in something like book direct and save. Okay, now there's a typo in there. And then what you wanna do is you wanna bring the font size down to 50. Okay, this is for Open Sans Extra. Um, you wanna bring it down to 50. I'm gonna now change that to a white color. And then I'm going to go to effects and then I'm going to choose lift, okay? Lift and then ramp up the intensity all the way to 100. And that'll make the, um, the text stand out inside the image. Now, the last thing that you want to do is you want to grab the actual... You want to grab the actual text and then you wanna drag it up to about just over halfway, um, above the halfway line. So basically if, um, if this image was cutting to let's say thirds, so you've got the bottom third there, there's an invisible line cutting the image down the bottom third, and then you've got the, the, the top third, what you wanna do is you wanna drag this to just above the top third, okay? Just like that, right? And then what you wanna do now is just wanna save it. So you got 50 um, effects intensity, okay, lift and then intensity all the way up to 100. Now we're just going to um, download this image. So that's just how you do it down here. Download that image. 
And then what we want to do is want to go back to, you can see that's downloaded now. And then you want to go back to um, your Google My Business profile. You want to choose a photo. And then what you want to do is you want to choose the photo that you've just edited inside of Canva and drop that in there just like that. Just a drag and drop. And then you can see that it's uploaded as the cover image. Okay. Now, um, it's going to take a little bit of time for this to actually um, render onto Google. But what you're going to see if you go into, um, into Google, and you can see why you don't want to use a square image. Because if you use a square image, the actual um, tagline gets covered by the search bar. Okay. So here's one that I prepared earlier. And you can see what's happened here. Okay. So when somebody's looking at your Google My Business profile, see a marketing message or a marketing offer inside of the, the image there. And the reason why this is important, especially for an accommodation industry like this, okay, an accommodation business is because um, all of these other, um, all of these other results, I'll show you what I mean. So if we go back to um, the Google, Google My Business profile, go to home, and then you actually view this um, so you go down there and then view it on search so i'm just going to open that in a new tab then you can also view it on maps okay so you can now view this profile on those two mediums and what you'll find when you view it there um, is that google is actually pushing these customers or their google's pushing the visitor to actually book not through the website but book through um the the online travel agents like bookings.com, for example, or TripAdvisor, Expedia, all those types of businesses. And then what happens is the business loses, um, they have to end up paying out like 15%, okay? So in a while, this will render and basically you'll have an image that has a, um, a, marketing, a marketing message on it that says, hey, book, direct and save, right? Because then what we're trying to do is we're trying to stop people from going to here and booking through these mediums, okay? Um, if you have a look on Google Maps, this is basically what it looks like. So you can see it hasn't exactly rendered just yet. It'll probably need another 20 minutes or so, and then it will just render. But now what you're gonna have underneath the search bar is you're gonna have that marketing message just right there, um, just like I showed you before. But again, the reason why it's important is if you can see, this is the Google Maps listing but then when they go to check availability and compare prices and all of that sort of stuff, um, you know, this customer and this business is losing the booking to these online travel agents. And then the online travel agent charges them 15% because they've actually got the booking, um, you know, through, through their platform, right? So for this business, what we're trying to do is we're trying to stop people from, um, from that happening uh, by putting that marketing message there that says, hey, book direct and save. So for your business, it could be anything um, similar to that, where you say, hey, book um, now and get buy one, get one free, or any sort of marketing message you can outlay on your image. Um, and that's a great way to separate yourself from your competitors and to actually uh, position your marketing message front and center um, because you've literally got thousands of people um, looking at your Google My Business profile every single month. So that's basically how you do it um, and that's basically why we do it. So hopefully this video has helped. Uh, make sure you click and subscribe to uh, watch more really helpful videos just like this. Thanks.